DataJar is a new and very interesting app from the developer behind Scriptable and JSON. The idea is it's a place for you to store raw data, and also a place where you can retrieve that data. DataJar has some of the best shortcut support of any app out there. I've done a handful of really cool things using the app that we're going to cover, like building a clipboard manager, meal planning, and a few other things. First, let me explain how it works. DataJar is a database service, kind of like Airtable. You can dump all kinds of different data in here from simple text to files. How you add things is through values. Values are how you define what kind of data is going to be added. Some are pretty simple like text and numbers. These are static values that can be called in shortcuts. Others like booleans are just true or false statements. The file value allows you to store files and photos. Then lists and dictionaries allow for more complex storing options. These values allow you to store other values inside them. I'll explain that in detail in a bit. For now, when we create a value, there are two sections we need to worry about, the key and the value. The key is essentially the name of the data and the value is its contents. I made a video in the past talking about how I use Airtable and its API to add content to a database. Before I would store the API key in a text document in the shortcuts folder of iCloud. Then I would just call that file from shortcuts. Here I can just add a text value and add the API key to the value and then set the name to something like Airtable API key. Now in shortcuts, I can use the data jar action, get value, and put the key name in there, Airtable API key, and this will just get the contents of that value. This is a pretty basic way of using data jar, but very helpful if you work with a lot of different APIs. There's also a handful of other pieces of data I keep in DataJar like SSH keys and URLs to sites I access through shortcuts. So now that we have the basics of DataJar down, let's go over some interesting ways I've been using it. First up is a clipboard manager. The goal of this is to make a shortcut that runs completely in the widget and never opens an app. I will link to the shortcut and all other shortcuts and apps I mentioned in the description below. This particular shortcut will build everything for you in DataJar, so you just need to run it the first time. When you run the shortcut, you are given an option to either add or get from it. If you pick add, it will take whatever is currently on your clipboard and add it to DataJar. If you pick get, you will be given a list of items, select one, and that will be added to your clipboard. When you choose get, you are given a list. This will preview any photos and files you have added. On the data jar side, this uses the list value. A list gives you an option to store multiple values in it that can be called later. This is probably my favorite and most used shortcut that works with data jar. Meal planning has been something that's pretty important for me. Considering what's going on in the world, I'm trying to limit my exposure to going outside and making sure I have enough food and supplies is a big part of that. So I built a shortcut that hooks into data jar. The idea of this is I can have a bunch of meals to pick from and the ingredients will be added to my shopping list. I'll walk through building this one. First in data jar, we are going to hit add value, then select dictionary and set the key to meal planning. Hit save. Then tap on meal planning and here we can add list values. So hit add value and pick list. Let's start with something simple for key put in pizza then hit save. Now open that list and here we're going to add each item we need to make a pizza. Hit add value and we want the text option. First we need dough, type that in and hit save. Then hit add value again and type in sauce. Then again and type in cheese. And then finally pepperoni. You can get more detailed with the ingredients or you can add as many ingredients as you want. Now let's go back a level and add another dish. We'll keep this one simple. Hit add value and select list. For this key, let's do hot dogs. Tap on hot dogs and start adding what you want. First will be hot dogs. Next will be hot dog buns. Lastly, ketchup. We'll stop adding things here and build the shortcut now, but you can add as much as you want to this. Let's create a new shortcut. First action we need is the data jar action, get value. 
Here we need to put the key for meal planning value, which is meal planning. Next, we are going to use the choose from list action. Make sure its variable is set to the previous data jar action and has select multiple on. Next, grab the split text action. The variable needs to be the chosen items from the previous action and we need to split by new line. This will make each item we need to buy its own line. Then we grab the repeat with each item action. The variable in that should be split text. Inside the repeat action is associated with your task manager of choice or wherever you store groceries. This could be add new reminder if you're using the reminders app. For me, it's things three. So I'll add the add to do action from things. The task variable needs to be set to repeat item. The only other thing I change in this list is I set it to my groceries list. This way everything doesn't just get added to the inbox. Now when we run this, we are given a list of all the meals that we put in data jar. We can pick from those and those ingredients are added to our task manager to pick up at the store. You absolutely could do this with the dictionary action in shortcuts, but I find data jar easy to add stuff to. Plus, if I wanted to make more shortcuts that reference this data or any other kinds of data, I don't have to recreate that data set. With data jar, I can just reference that value. There are a couple of really cool features in data jar. If you're on the iPad with an external keyboard, there are extensive keyboard shortcuts. It also uses iCloud to sync all of your data so it'll be everywhere, which is extremely helpful for shortcuts like the clipboard manager. There's a ton more you can do with data jar. And if you're interested, please let me know in the comments. I can make a follow up video in the future. Data jar is a free app to download, but does have a tip jar if you find it useful. I'm happy this app exists and it's become a huge staple in my iPad first lifestyle. Thank you for watching and have a great day.